Hey everybody, you need comms and comms need power. We're gonna talk a little bit about this on this episode. If you like this content, please click that subscribe button. You know what to do, bell notifications, and here we go. Okie dokie, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages. This is the real world prepper. Driving down the road, making sure my camera doesn't jostle around too much. I've got this mount for it, but it doesn't. Kind of wants to move a little bit, so if it moves around, as long as you can, as long as it's still pointing at me, I suppose. Listen, I am on my way uh, on my lunch break from work. It's Wednesday, the 27th, I believe. And I'm on my way, I'm going by my house because I'm gonna check out my, my internet connection, my hard line coming into the house to see, uh, just trying to look for some options to hook this thing up to an actual LAN cable or ethernet cable for when myself and Zombie Farmer and Kansas Prepper get together to do our live stream, which we're still working on. We are, uh, between the three of us, I think we're technically stumped a little bit on some of this stuff. And uh, we're getting it figured out though. It's either gonna be through Skype and OBS or it's gonna be through Google Hangouts, I'm just not sure. It will be broadcast to YouTube, at least on one of our channels. Hopefully we can figure out how to broadcast it on all three of our channels. Uh, but again, we're still working all that stuff out. And um, if nothing else, even if it's only broadcast from one of our channels, uh, we'll then be able to, at least I, I know a way and I can share it with the others if they don't know. But, to capture the video and uh, post it on our channel so that the video will eventually be on all three of the channels, uh, a video of the live feed. So the live feed may only come through on one channel, but <coughs> eventually it will uh, be posted on all channels. But I digress. What I'm going to the house for is I'm gonna check out the connection, see how much length of cable one of the things that I think we were running into in some of these tests we've done that have not been online, we've done some offline tests just trying to get the system cooperating the way we need it to, but one thing is uh, I know that the other two guys are working with uh, hardwired connections, or will be, and I don't have a means to do that, so I'm going to go see um, how much length of cable I need to run my router or maybe even an additional router into my shop where I'd like to broadcast from. Worst case scenario, I'll broadcast from within my house just there near the router connected with an ethernet cable. All of this brings me to kind of what I, something I thought about in terms of prepping. And, uh, We've talked a little bit about it, I think, but comms, a communication, uh, connection to the outside world in a post-SHTF scenario. Now, depending on the type of scenario, and we've talked about all kinds that could go down, um, we may not have a comms issue. You know, your phones may still work, uh, radio still broadcasting and things of that nature. But in other types of events, that may not be an option you know the internet may be down electricity may be down uh, who knows so um, one thing that I recommend investing in and me and some members of my immediate group uh, have done so and are, are in the process some of us have and some of us have not completed this but we're getting uh, little radios that that are uh, that have about a 35 mile or better range. Uh, obviously it's limited with obstructions, but 
We're looking at one. Uh, I do not remember the brand offhand. Uh, another buddy of mine has it, but it's one that that has been tested that even in like trees and hills and buildings and things like that, uh, in those scenarios, it still has about a five mile range, even with obstructions and then without obstructions, or if you can get up high, high enough to clear obstructions such as trees, buildings, etc., it can go, uh, this one in particular, up to 50 miles. So I would recommend investing in these things because these are closed channel radios. You can tune in a particular channel. And even if, whoa, see what I mean? So even if, uh, you know, even if your internet's down and phone lines are down and stuff, you can pick up a radio frequency that's being broadcast you know, by another radio on the same frequency. And uh, lots of batteries for them. Another thing that we've been talking about, and I have done very little looking into, but I plan on doing more. Again, real world prepping means you've got regular life to contend with, you know, so you gotta do this kind of stuff on, you know, when you do have free time in between your job and your family and all of your obligations that you have. but want to look into ham radio. Uh, ham radio certainly has a way further range. If I'm not mistaken, and you guys can leave in the comments if I'm wrong about this, because I know very little about this, but I believe that's a way to communicate damn near worldwide. Uh, and and uh, of course it would require a power source. So this also brings me to another prepping thing is power solar or generator or both i recommend having some type of setup even if you don't have a solar system say that's enough to run your entire home or refrigerators or freezers and tvs and you know all kind you know all your comforts you can at least have a small system up and running that can you know recharge a phone or run power to uh, a radio setup or uh, you know turn on a few lights or you know you could you could uh, even with a small system you could set it up so that you know you can apply power to certain things at certain times as need be you know have to be frugal with it of course but um, so these are all things that uh, that I actually you know haven't done in my preps know that I need to um, money of course is a factor time is a factor so baby steps, right? And I'm trying to work all these things out. But I just wanted to kind of drop a few thoughts about communications and and electricity, which I think the two kind of go hand in hand, or power, I should say, you know, because it can be battery powered or again, solar or uh, generator power, you know, of course, then you got fuel to contend with and all that. So lots of little things to think about, guys. But be thinking about it. Be thinking about how you're going to communicate uh, with at least your group. You'll also, I believe, want to have a uh, radio that's available to you so that you can be tuning in to uh, all signals, all frequencies to see if there's any emergency broadcasts, letting you know of any changes in the situation should you deal with an SHTF situation. Um, you know, that's important. Uh, weather events, all kinds of things. You know, weather radios are good. Uh, those emergency radios where you know what the emergency broadcast bands are. But so, uh, yeah. So on my little mission to uh, put together what I need to put together to, to have the most optimum and awesome live stream between myself, real world prepper, and zombie farmer, and Kansas prepper, I'm going now running a little errand to check into that and probably go and make a purchase of a uh, ethernet cable just to make that optimum because if this thing goes off well when we finally get it up and going uh, it may be something that we do regularly and uh, just depending on what you guys think about it and how you guys like it so again to recap today's video this video is uh, just to kind of tell you what I'm doing in regards to preparing for our live stream and also to get you thinking about communications uh, you know within your group communications at least one way to be able to listen 
to the outside world if there's anything going on and power sources to support those communication devices and otherwise. So just things to think about. I'm going to talk more in depth about solar and generators in future videos. Just hadn't got to that point yet. So uh, thanks for joining. Thanks for all my new subs. I'm up to 250. Um, I want you guys to help me get to 300. Let's see if we can get to 300. Share this stuff. Get your friends to subscribe if you like what you're looking at. Uh, let's wake some people up, folks. Time is running out for us all. Uh, whether or not an SHTA uh, event is going to happen. So we, we should all be prepared. We should all be in a community, uh, community-minded, thinking of one another, taking care of one another. You know, for every person that we can help and get on board with the, the mind of preparedness and prepping in general, the, uh, that's one less zombie we have on the street wandering around without a plan, aimlessly trying to get whatever they can from wherever they can. So. Do your part, like, share, and subscribe. Do your part and prep for your family. It's the right thing to do. Always be in prayer about everything in your life, but certainly about prepping too and how you should go about it and what you should do. Listen, thanks guys for joining me, letting me rattle off a little bit and ramble. You know that's what I do sometimes, and uh, I guess that's it. Thanks, we'll see you next time. Real World Prepper.